Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be doing finally something different. I'm making another Miku plushie. So I'm using this axolotl pattern by Katie Dids, making a Miku out of it. Another fun different thing besides a doll to make. So here are the colors I'll be using and my supply. I have a 3.5 millimeter hook and I also have these really large 24 millimeter eyes. I bought like 50 pairs of these and I've never even used them before. So hoping this is gonna be used for two days plush. And these are the usual colors colors that I use for Miku. We have black yarn, turquoise yarn, neon pink. This is Magnolia Way for the skin. I also have the yellow yarn right there for the little badge. I'm gonna quickly cut in the video just to say that I also use gray beard because I'm always forgetting some sort of yarn in every single progress vlog. So <laughs> these are all the colors I'll be using. And I also have the sketch, which I'll be putting on the long on the side of the video once I get to the progress update. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hopefully see this works. I'll be back with the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to the first update. So here's Miku and the head of the axolotl. So the top part rounds one through seven is in turquoise and then starting from round eight all the way to the neck area or the beginning of the body will be skin from the body downwards will be all in gray beard and I'm hoping this will work. Actually I filmed this twice already but this is my third attempt at this because I had to frog it multiple times just to get the color change right. It's so frustrating but anyways these eyes are really huge. I've never used this size before and hopefully I'm doing this properly. See you back in the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to another update. So here is Miku's head and I add on the eyes. Hopefully I gave enough stitches in between. I try to follow the pattern and then I gave her the eyes like how I usually do. I sew them on and then add on the eyelids. Let's see how this turns out. It looks so weird than what I'm used to, especially with these giant eyes. Usually I'll probably give them like smaller eyes, but uh, I'm trying to follow the pattern. So yeah, be back with the next update. Hey guys, welcome back to another update. Here is Miku and the finished body. Here is the back side and we're back to the front. So yeah, this is about it. I'm gonna be creating the limbs next and along with the hair, super excited. Back to the next update. Okay, so here's the next progress update. I added like one little eight chain strand on the top of her hair and then I'm currently working on the limbs. I think I'll go ahead and sew this on first and then finish off the rest of the front details. She's not gonna be wearing a skirt since it's not gonna fit on here. So we're leaving the skirt out and there's a little fin at the bottom. Next, I'll be making the gills that are on top of the head, which I'm really excited about. And yeah, I'll be back with the next update. Okay, so welcome back to the next update. I gave her a tie and then the little gray collar right here. And then she has a little yellow yarn right there for the badge. For the collar, I just did the same usual Miku collar, except I chained 32. The tie, I chained 12 for that one. And if you want to know how to make your own, I have like example on my Miku tutorial on my channel in the playlist. So yeah, you can go over there and see how I made it and then adjust it to the size if you wanted to make your own Miku axolotl for some reason. So yeah, I'm currently making the gills and they're all gonna be turquoise. Currently it looks like a little baby Yoda and I don't watch any Star Wars, but I have seen that being crocheted so many times. We're gonna go ahead and finish off the hair and the gills and I'll be back with a final update. Okay, so one quick note to self. So here are the gills attached on. And this is like one of her hair ties, which I'm going to be adding one more over here. So I just want to take note that I sewed these two directly next to each other. So like exactly one row directly to each other. And then the top one has like one row space in between. So that way the hair ties can fit onto the first gill. So about it. We're going to go ahead and do the bangs and hopefully this looks a lot better. Okay. So here's how this thing turned out and I absolutely despise it. Probably one of my worst creations yet. <laughs> and these eyes, I feel like they're way too big. If it were smaller eyes, I think I would have liked it a lot more. But at this point, I don't know how I'm going to remove it without ruining the entire head. <laughs> Hopefully I'll succeed. <laughs>
back to the final update of Miku. So here is the result. Oh my gosh, I'm actually surprised that I was able to cut off those eyes and then replace them with 15 millimeter eyes. And I am very happy with this. I think it's more proportional rather than using the 24 millimeter eyes because it's really, really large. But if you do like the larger eye look, then definitely do go ahead and do that. But I'm so used to having Miku and my dolls having smaller eyes. So yeah, this is what she looks like in an axolotl form. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And the backside is just a little bit awkward. <laughs> this is my bald beauty in the back. So yeah, let's not pay attention to that too much because I only wanted to color change the top part. I didn't really plan on color changing the back. Otherwise I would have to like count the rows and see where I was gonna change the colors. But otherwise I'm pretty happy with the front part. And I have like two pins right here because I'm actually gluing this part down. I ran out of yarn and I didn't have enough to sew it all the way around. So I just glued it down instead <laughs> just because I'm feeling a little bit tired and lazy. And I am pretty ecstatic about this. Really glad that I didn't have to start all over over. And what do you guys think of this Miku? Something a little bit different. You can also make your own as well. Oh, by the way, for the hair, the strands are here. I use 12 chains. These three strands are 12 chains. This is a four chain, eight chain, and over here is also 12 chains as well. Just for reference and note to myself in the future and if you want to do anything with that information, but yeah. I do plan on making more things out of Miku, turning random patterns and stuff into Miku in the future. So I do have a playlist for her Amigurumi. And if there's a pattern that you can recommend me, so that way I can make my own Miku version of it, send that to me on Instagram or even tell me in the comments down below because I'm kind of interested in trying out, you know, other things. I'm trying out these different shapes of um, different plushies and stuff. I get to learn how to make new things like these little gills and stuff. I actually didn't know how to make that. It's nice to learn from other people while making something cute as Miku. So yeah, really super fun projects. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back with another progress vlog. See you in the next video. Bye!